you so it's your girl Tinkerbell um I just wanted to talk about a few things um like I was reading the email, I'm trying to figure out how to put this, and the email was just hilarious, that a person can sit there and just degrade someone in, in that manner, you know what I'm saying, and it was just ridiculous, and it made me want to say, why are you even on my page, you know? So, to this person, you know who you are. I'm not even going to say your name or anything like that. I'm just going to say that if you have to subject to race, racial slurs or just any little thing like that, um, I think that you don't need to be on YouTube. I don't think that you need to be messaging anybody with that kind of evilness in your heart and it's just retarded it is retarded I don't understand why people subject to stupid shit like that but that's what was bothering me but any motherfucking way let's get back to the real shit okay um I was watching the tea with tequila show the reunion Okay, did y'all see when Brandy and Jessica came out? Did y'all see when Brandy ass, I think that's her name, Brandy oh baby ass, got up and left? Okay, what I don't understand is, is like, why the blonde haired girl with the shitty face that look like she always got shit on her face, the one that be looking like this? how like they were like this you know what I'm saying they were like that and all of a sudden she trying to act like she don't even like Brandy but on the show she was like all in Brandy's face and then like as soon as she left she started talking shit about Brandy and on the reunion she didn't have anything to say to Brandy Brandy came out and she was just like And I'm like, okay, she need to cool with that face, cause the the one that that mother like adopts retarded kids, and I really think she's retarded because the way she does her face like that, and it's just so hilarious. She reminds me of them ghetto girls that be like, Pharrell, 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 you Pharrell. <laughs> she, the way she make her face makes me think like like she got a little problem. But that shit was kind of hilarious. I mean, uh, it's funny. I mean, y'all just gotta watch it. But yo, the reunion comes on with "I Love New York" second two. I can't wait because did y'all see the previews when Buddha came out? It was like Buddha has something to say to New York for New York picking um Taylor May and I heard that Taylor May dissed New York after the show because she was trying to see him or whatever and he dissed her so I bet you half of the niggas that's on that was on the New York show that went home they got their own show now are they like gonna be celebrities how much you wanna bet because look at the first episode you remember um what was his name the one that said he wouldn't feed New York first over his yaya. Okay. Him and the other dude, 12 pack, 6 pack, whatever, 6 pack, or whatever. They like got a business together called Party Boys and shit. And they're like gay acting or whatever. It's hilarious. And yo, Midget Mac, y'all, is on MySpace, yo. He hangs with T Pain. Uh, what's that fool's name? That one that sings, pop, lock, and drop it. Huey. Him and some other little Atlanta, Georgia boys. The motherfucker got a record deal already, y'all. 
He got a record deal after being on the show for like he wasn't even there that long, was he? Midget Matt, y'all, I am cracking up. When I see his MySpace page, oh no, that shit was funny. That's all I gotta say. That shit was funny. But, mm -mm. who else? Um. I mean, those, oh, y'all know the the one it. He's on fucking YouTube, so y'all check him out. He's hilarious. That motherfucker didn't really act like that in real life, cause you know I was like, can't nobody be that retarded in life. He's a fucking actor, and he did like this thing here in New York City where it was like a thing that was based on AIDS. Where he y'all just check his page out. He is hilarious. And I don't care what anybody say. I would have went on the show and did the same motherfucking thing too. I would have went on there and act a motherfucking fool. Just so I could get a contract of a motherfucker trying to get me. You know what I'm saying? So I could make some moolah. But that motherfucker is fine. And I looked at his YouTube page. Hmm. So if you watching this, I'm your number one fan. I don't care. You could have slid me down like that if he was playing. But on some real shit, hit your girl up. Nah, this way. But, oh, and your ass is just rotund. I love a nigga with a big old booty. And your booty is big. <laughs> but anyways, um... I think that's it. So I'm going to get at y'all. Peace.